everyone and Chick Jeffrey here and today I'm going to teach you how to check the check engine light code on your VW Tiguan. It's a beautiful day today and I said, you know, I'm going to do a video for you guys and teach you how to check the, you know, check engine light code and what that what they mean, you know. So if you own a VW car, uh, it's very wise, very wise to own one of this. It's called OBD2 uh, scanner. I bought this Innova. 3030 uh, a long time ago and it's been a wonderful device and it has the OBD2 port like it says here OBD2 port that will connect to the OBD2 uh, port in your car so yeah one of the most common uh, code that you will find or you will see in your VW Tiguan is the P0422 which is a small a uh, leak, you know, like vapor leak, and what is really bad, you know, like when when I saw that, I was like, oh no, P0422, there's a small leak somewhere, vapor leak. So guess what happened? I'll show you why. What happened is um, the gas cap on the VW Tiguan has this uh, like um, small plastic that you sometimes get in the way, and when you try to uh, close the gas cap, it will get in the way and it created like this gap that uh, you know can be detected by the sensor so yeah it's really easy how to use this thing uh, usually when you go to the dealer they will try to charge you like at least 99 to 100 dollar I don't know when I had my Jaguar they used to tell me that they were gonna charge like 250 just to check you know the check engine light on my Jaguar XJR and I was like no way so yeah it's it's crazy so yeah if you guys don't have this device OBD2 scanner please buy it this one cost me I think it was uh, $199 when I bought it it was it's been like three years so probably it's cheaper now I saw one for $79 so OBD2 uh, scanner so anyway let's get to it so I, I was like uh, one day I got this uh, P0455 which is a large vapor leak I'm like my goodness that's really bad you know I mean yeah yeah large vapor leak and I didn't eat any beans so yeah, that was pretty bad you know I was like what what's what's going on so um, what I do I pull this OBD2 scanner and this is how you guys do it uh, first I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll be back. Hi everyone, I'm back here. The OBD2 port on your VW T1 is located right underneath here. There you go. Do you see that? It's um hold on, it's very dark down there, but it's right over there. Do you see it? This is really nice day. Sometime like my Corvette, I don't know why. They, it was like black like dark color at least they color it like purple on the VW Tiguan so basically what you do is you can't go wrong on this one because as you can see the, the port looks like like that right and there's only one way to get in so what you do you flip it like this you know this is the female that's the male OBD2 uh, connector so you just want to uh, press it and you hear that right and once it's pressed the OBD2 scanner will um, read the code in the car if you have an error it will show you an error uh, like when I had the uh, P0422 and P0455 uh, error code which was the the vapor leak in the system you know it will show me what you do is once you find the code you just have to google it like right now ah see that there basically it cannot um, detect anything uh, what you do if you see that error message you want to turn the car on and let it read it and see if there is like right right now there is no error code basically Yep, see, basically, once you connect the OBD to scan the system and you turn the car on, all the way on, turn the engine on, and right now I have what? Zero error. I have no uh, error on my car, which is good, so it, it checked out. 
basically the green light will turn on and usually when there are error messages there will be like the red light will turn itself on see now it's reading it again to make sure there is no um, error message yep so it's clear I have zero uh, error message yeah it's really good guys so basically remember the location is down here and once you're done with it uh, I'm gonna turn the car off and I'll show you um, how to fix the um, the P0422 uh, error message uh, everyone hold on. basically when you have the P0422 uh, error code the error is right here um, as you can see there is this um, plastic thing that hold the gas cap do you see that what happened is some people make this mistake see that you can't have this gas cap go inside the gas tank you know um, so you have to make sure this thing out and you just tighten it until it's put this thing must be out yeah a lot of people make the mistake of um, you know putting this thing inside without checking it so you want to pull it out I mean don't cut it because what happened this thing is holding the gas cap so it won't fall down and so you won't lose it so you just have to uh, open it make sure this thing is not here I I've seen some people asking me hey how come I have the P0422 uh, on P055 error code and I saw the this plastic part was inside so you don't want that so you want to move it out of the way and then you click it until it click see that click there you go so that's it so once you're done with that once you you're done with that I mean the error code will still be there so you wanna use this OBD2 uh, scanner And turn the engine on see like right now there is no error message at all but I'm gonna teach you what to do that let's say if you have an error message the uh, p042 or p045 so what you want to do is you want to press this red button after after you uh, uh, close the gas cap properly so you want to click here uh, and then it will, the OBD2 scanner will ask you, are you sure? And you say, yes, I'm sure. So it's done. So basically the code is now, uh, it's been deleted and clear from the system. And that's it. That's how you fix it. So yeah, it's really easy guys. So make sure you invest in this uh, OBD2 uh, scanner. Uh, yeah, mine is Innova 3030. Uh, device and it's not that expensive it's a lot cheaper so anyway love you guys thank you so much for watching and that's it I'm just gonna clear it one more time because this gives me that uh, that's what happened if there is no error message and then you clear it and it will tell you like what is going on so you got confused so anyway love you guys thank you so much again for watching and I hope you uh, subscribe to my channel and like please like this video thank you bye love you guys